We are constantly being drawn to the future, and we're becoming increasingly foresightful as innovation is progressing faster and faster. Releases of latest technologies are a perfect example of this, and if you're anything like me and basically obsess over the latest VR and AR news, you probably have heard of the metaverse already. Boy. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey. So I'm not going to get into that. But if you're someone who works from home, maybe because of COVID or just the nature of your job, then this video will show you a cool new way you can bring high quality screens into the Oculus Quest, or now rather the Meta Quest. But first, let me preface this by saying one thing. Before I bought my Quest 2, I was totally unaware of what I would eventually classify as the three biggest ways I now use this thing. Games, of course, exercise, and primarily what I do use it for, productivity. And a little spoiler, if you already own a Quest headset and are aware of some of the productivity apps out there, then there's a high chance you're here for the AR side of things, and that's okay. Believe me, it's going to be worth watching because we will get into that in just a moment and how you can bring screens into an AR pass-through mode right now. As someone who loves creating videos and also happens to work from home, I can honestly tell you that the direction VR and AR is heading in is a massive leap, but it still might not be totally ready for the mainstream yet, and it still feels like a niche. In many demonstrations and concepts through past recent years, we are promised that soon enough we'll be able to interact with magic floating screens that appear before our eyes where we can be productive and get real work done. And the industry delivered that. That's the good news, and it comes in an almost unnoticeable latency-free and clear way. Like right now, I can literally throw on my Quest 2 and hop into a variety of virtual reality apps and stream my PC directly into it. And I can also do the same thing in augmented reality by sideloading an app like AnyDesk or TeamViewer on my headset, enable pass-through mode, and literally sit anywhere in my real home environment and work in AR mode. After all, the Quest 2 is running Android, so you could download pretty much any APK and load it onto your headset. While the latter takes a few more steps to set up, I promise you it's worth it. Now, earlier I mentioned that working in VR is still very niche, and it might be mostly just for the real VR enthusiasts out there. I claim this for two reasons. The first is because, well, you have to be prepared to do some troubleshooting with steps involved of getting your headset linked and actually working in VR. However, you could also be lucky enough to nail it in the setup phase because the apps you would use have systems in place to set it up and they do a pretty decent job in getting you up and running. And second, in most cases, I can find myself wearing my headset for six plus hours a day. But I'm not gonna lie, after that long, it can start to cause some eye strain and forget it if you have the slightest headache before putting it on. Though, if you're okay with experimenting with your own comfort levels and lengths of wearing these goggles, I still think you need to give them a try if you'd like to approach working remotely in a different way. If you plan to hold or attend meetings in VR, these are incredible for the shorter, or again, depending on your comfort levels, longer meetings. All in all, I love sitting with my friends in VR and getting work done. Whether it's editing videos or designing websites, it literally feels like you're sitting in the same room with other people, and the immersion is so overtaking, you'll actually forget you're in a virtual world. I am also very much looking forward to the AR side of things, mainly for bringing people into your actual home as projections and sharing screens and 3D elements with them. And while I'm sure that specifically will take time for the industry to implement, I know it's certainly a possibility and will inevitably become something real in the near future. And a little speculation with that in mind, one could definitely challenge this idea that the participants joining your home environment wouldn't be able to look around because, after all, how would you place another in your world without digitally mapping it out first? Well, a couple ideas I have is to either simply take a 360 degree photo of where they would sit with your phone, or better, utilize technologies like the LiDAR sensor found on the iPhone to create a 3D mapping of the environment. Additionally, friends or colleagues can also continue to send their own home environments and just place each other's avatars and screens into one another's respective spaces. I believe productivity in VR is finally at places of realisticness and I can't wait to see what the future brings, especially with the new headsets coming out soon that promise higher quality screens, color pass-through mode, and a more AR-focused feature set. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, please like the video, consider subscribing, especially if you're new here. I plan to make a lot more videos like this and I would love to someday create YouTube videos full time. It would be a dream come true for me and my family. So I appreciate the support. And if you have any comments or questions, 
uh, regarding the MetaQuest or anything Quest related, then feel free to leave a comment and start a conversation below. I'd be happy to talk with you guys. Quick side note, my favorite productivity app for the MetaQuest, I would have to say is Immerse. You could have multiple monitors and the customer service is amazing. Thank you all again and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace. Okay, Mia, we're done. Come on, I'm sorry. I know, she cannot wait to not only play on this chair, but to hold all of my little VR headsets here. Here. You happy? Yeah. Now that you have them? <laughs> See, I'm the VR princess of the world. I'm the VR princess of the world. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good.